Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome to a brand new series. Today we're going to be playing Northgard. And if you might ask what Northgard is, well, I shall tell you. But first, let's pick a name. We shall be Coco. And we shall be blue and normal and okay. And uh, here I can then talk about stuff. Okay, so what is Nordgard? Nordgard is a strategy game based on Norse mythology in which you control a clan of Vikings vying for control of a mysterious newfound continent. So basically it's, it's a strategy city builder, uh, kind of like old settlers games. Uh, re very, very like old settlers games uh, I like it I like it you know it also feels a bit like Age of Empires I mean it's a RTS but it's more settlers than it's Age of Empires so anyway it's made by Shiro Games and it's on early access on Steam currently uh, so let us let us begin of course since it's early access you know there's more stuff coming soon uh, it's only single player currently and we have three clans which we can choose. So we have Fenrir, the clan of the wolf, aggressive, protective of their freedom and more than a little reckless. They are well prepared to face the dangers of Northgard and use their combined might and mobility to leave little chance to all but the most resilient. So we have starting bonuses, we start with weaponsmith knowledge which increases your warrior's attack, pretty good. Your military units eat 30% less food and provide happiness, which is good since um, you turn your villagers into warriors, so they cannot provide you with food, but they eat food and you actually get some happiness out of that, so that's pretty good, I'd say. Uh, if you're famous, uh, when you reach 200 fame, you get your military units, gain a 20% attack bonus when fighting outside your territory. It's pretty good if you want to expand. And Berserker, you obtain powerful Berserker who will fight for your clan. It's pretty good. And then we have Eichthyrnir, the clan of the stag. Proud of their legacy of astonishing achievements. They are renowned as much for their honorable and regal manner as for their harsh justice and unyielding strength. Valuing wealth and fame, they are highly ambitious expansionists. So basically, fighters. Expansion, you know, combat expansion, whatever you want to focus on. Start with extra food, wood, and some uh, gold, which is crowns. Uh, the Hall of Skulls replaces the brewery and produces additional fame. High spirits, all production gain, plus 1% per, per positive happiness. And on 500 fame, you get upgraded buildings, gain additional 10% production bonus. It's pretty good. And the last but not the least, Hydron, the clan of the goat. When it comes to surviving in dangerous conditions and building sturdy settlements, the clan of the goat has no rival. They will endure and survive no matter what. So you start with three additional sheep. I think that if you have additional sheep, you need less wood during the winter, something like that. And they eat less food. 5%, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. And at 200 fame, increase the production bonus of your feasts. I've never done the feasting yet, so I'm not really sure exactly what, how this works. And free tools, you gain two free tools to improve your villager's productivity. Pretty dang good, right? So we can choose one. So far, I tried the game, I played it for like 40 minutes. I played as Eikthyrnir, the clan of the stag. And on the score, and score is your fame. I was the lowest <laughs> at all times. So I don't know, I, I'm, you know, it's a bit tutorial-ish start and I guess I'll know more when I start again, but I was thinking let's let's be a more aggressive, let's play as Fenner. Although I guess with these guys they are expansionists. I mean they start with extra food and wood and stuff like that, so it's probably easier to survive the first winter. But you know what? Let's start as Fenner and uh, let's be warriors. Let's begin the game. And uh, let's see what happens. Carving icy lakes, growing forests. And I'm gonna drink some tea while we wait for this. There's also neutral factions. I have encountered some giants. Uh, let's pause the game for a bit. I have encountered giants before. Um, I think you can trade with them and then make them happy and ally with them. Although I have not, you know, actually tried that. There's Draugr. If you played Skyrim, you will be familiar with them. There are undead thingies that can come and attack you and all sorts of kind of stuff. There's wolves around in the unclaimed territories. So, uh, let's take a look at the UI while the game is paused. So up here we have Coco Clan of the Wolf. I'm Chieftain, I have no fame currently. Next title is Thane at 200 fame. 
I only control one area. There's a lot of uh, victory conditions. We'll look at those later on. Uh, this is one of those. Uh, the other three clans are unknown to me. They're one of each, actually. No, there's two goat clans and one of the stag. Okay, so we have one happiness. People expect one happiness, which is, you know, it's actually red happiness. It's unhappiness. Uh, it's how much it's expected. Then you get uh, stuff from territory control for lore-ish stuff. So basically we have plus one currently. Which means we'll get a new colonist every 35 days. And you can see it here it's 880, it's March. We should prepare for winter. Basically we start at the start of the, you know, at the start of the, 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 the uh, spring. So we're in summer, basically summer, I guess. Uh, in winter, your military units get th minus 30% power in fighting outside of your territory. Food production is reduced and the wood consumption is increased. Basically, you get the blizzards and stuff like that and they really tank your food. Uh, down here is a map as you can see. Up here is food, how much we consume, how much we gather. We have wood, we need firewood uh, to survive the winters. Uh, we have crowns, crowns, I don't know how to this is properly pronounced. You can have a trade victory here also, uh, which is, I don't know how hard it is to collect this, I don't know, probably not that easy. <coughs> then we have stone and iron, which are, are bonus resources, which you can get later on, and they're used to upgrade, stone is to upgrade your buildings, and I think iron is to upgrade the tools for your uh, people. Uh, we have population 3 out of 5 currently, we'll build more houses later on and we'll be able to have some more population. And Warband, you need to build, um, well, some kind of barracks, I don't remember the correct name right now. And then you can have up to, you know, first barracks will give you 3 possible warriors and so on and so forth. And then we have Lore, which we can check. Lore is basically your science tech tree. And we started with Weaponsmith already, so we can then go further in. Uh, we can get... this one is specific to our Fenrir. We get bonuses here, I believe. Or, you know, this one is maybe changed in something else. And we have some better stuff up here as well. It's pretty good. And after we unlock uh, some knowledge, I believe after we unlock six, we can get one of the, the blessings here. And then after you unlock uh, another seven, I believe, you can get more and so on and so forth. Okay, that's lore. Um, you know what? Let's just on pause and you know, these are our guys. They're gonna start packing stuff and we're gonna have some tutorial ish stuff. We can open the build menu and we're gonna start with a woodcutter's lodge so we can start getting some wood. So, build that. As you can see here in this area, we can have five buildings. So, every area can have some buildings and uh, after you know you place something like this down people will come right away and start building it only one of them will which is fine we're slowly getting some lore out of our population you can gather get uh, scouts and they will scout the territory around that will give you some lore and I believe fame as well and then you can have some uh, monoliths and stuff like that which you can use your uh, lore masters they will researched it and they will get uh, you extra lore for that. Uh, in this next territory you can al already see there's stone here. Okay, this guy. I can now right click on this and he's gonna grab an axe and become a woodcutter. So he's gonna start getting that. Now the game wants me to build a scout camp which is a good idea. Already we got a new population. We can build some more stuff already. So we'll start with a scout camp. Let's build that right away. You, sir, are gonna do that. Good. Those guys gathering wood. We can get another one to gather wood, but right now I'll just keep it on food. Next thing we're gonna build is gonna be an extra house so we can get some more population. It's gonna take a while. Uh, I realize that I've been talking a lot about the basics of the game before I actually started playing, but you know, it will be better. <laughs> At some point it will be better, don't you worry. Okay, uh, I can right click at you, sir. Right click on that and he's gonna become a scout. And right away he's gonna go and start scouting around. Now next thing we want is another house. So build me that, you can see here he's scouting, he's looking into the uncharted territory next to us. He's gonna explore it soon-ish. He's gonna now discover a new area. 
after he explores this. That's gonna be good. Um, after we build a house, we can still fit one more building in here, and I believe we'll build our. Um, let's see, let's check. Addy, de, 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 where is it? Training camp, indeed. That's gonna give us a ability to get warband more people. We are five out of five now, so there you go. Warband is gonna be for our warriors, and they can go and claim new areas. There we go. He has found out all about this area, which is pretty big. There's one. Oh, there's two wolves here. We need to defeat those wolves, and then we'll be able to claim that place. Uh, we can get more people. I believe, yeah, training camp is the game is what the game desires us to build, and we shall do so. This guy is gonna just go ahead and build it, which is pretty good. Um, I probably do want to get a new woodcutter sooner rather than later. You can only have two in here, I believe. Yeah, if I hold this, you can see we can have five buildings and you have two woodcutters. So uh, when we get the next one. I'll tell him to start working on that, and then we'll start getting uh, warriors as well. At least I need at least two warriors here, I believe. You can see, oh, this is good. We have an area where we can build a farm. This is fertile land. That's pretty good, right away. Uh, this area is not passable. Maybe there's something more down this way. Uh, he's gonna look in this direction, good. So we know that there's stone here. No one has any fame yet. That's okay. Uh, how are you doing on this? Soon-ish you're gonna build it. When we get a new person? Uh, every 43 days? Oh, we, we just got him. Good. Hey, you. Go be a woodcutter. We need more wood. Hmm, maybe you should be on food duty. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to turn anyone into this. Although, we're getting enough food right now because the dude is collecting it okay explore new area training camp is complete now this guy's just gonna go onto his own and start exploring a bit more um there's no special monuments or stuff around here not as of yet you can go and uh, get extra lore from them if you have them scouts explore it hmm Okay, um, how long before we get a new person? Soon-ish. You know what? Screw it. Let's get one warrior. There we go. Uh, we're still getting some more food. You can control a warrior, have him go away. And now we can go and attack some more people. And by people, I mean those guys. Looks like everyone has already claimed another place. And I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna claim this one. We're gonna have to spend some um, food to actually do that. You can colonize for 20 food. It's not too bad. So start colonizing, you will be able to work on a farm here. And we have stone here as well, which we can mine. So that's gonna work well for us. We'll need stone to actually upgrade. There we go. That gave us 20 more fame. Someone already has two areas. It's bastards. Or probably want to... Huh, I don't know. We we'll probably want to colonize this. Oh, this one is good. Let's see what we have. There's a wolf, brown bear. Ooh, never seen a bear before. It's probably kind of scary. He has a lot of health. And there's sheep here. If you have at least one sheep in the area, it will reduce the need for firewood during winter. That's pretty good. We want to go that way. We do want to go that way. Okay. We have gotten another person. I'll send you this way. You're gonna claim this for us soonish. We cannot build any more buildings here, but but we can go. How far are we? September. Soon we'll need stuff for winter. I don't know if it's worth spending 80 wood right now because I don't know if we'll have enough for the upcoming winter. I do kind of need to colonize the land just to keep in up in fame with us guys. Well, let's do that. Let's colonize this land. So we can claim this for us. There we go. This is ours now as well. Thank you, sir, for claiming that for us. Do appreciate it. And uh, now you'll just be here on the border if this wolf decide to attack. Because they can. They can do that. Hey, where are you? Or which one are you researching? This one? Okay. Scout that one. And there's a drawer camp. Okay, well, we have quite some crazy stuff around here. This, this looks like... Giant of some sort? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Anyway, we're not gonna be claiming anything else 
before a new season. Uh, ah, you want me to attack foes? No, I don't really want to attack foes right now. I'm fine with this, okay? Okay? Now, if I can click on this, you can see we can build three buildings here. And we have stone special resources here. Although, I don't see, oh, of course, there is the stone. I'm a silly billy. And right here we can have two buildings. So we'll start with the mine and uh, a farm. And later on the mine will soon get eaten because it only has 50 stone. That's not too bad actually. This one has 40. So we do want to tell people to start working down here. I just want to see... Oh, this one got something extra, huh? Bastards. So what would be happening if I organize a feast? Gives plus 2 and 20% bonus to all production for one month and gives me some additional fame, but it costs food. We're quite happy from our military units. That's pretty good. We're gonna have a nice military and we're gonna keep the happiness that way. Um, this is gonna give us... Oh, more lower in this area, huh? That's good. Irene is dead. Nice, we gained some fame from that. Oh, damn. The most fearsome of the ancient creatures roaming the land of Nordgard. This would give us a lot of fame if we could kill it. <laughs> but it has a lot more strength and a ton more health than anything we have so far. So, yeah. If we colonize this, it's gonna give us additional fame. That's pretty dang good. Uh, I'm looking if any of these places have fish. Doesn't really look at it. Oh, you cannot grow. Well, that seems silly. Um, I was, you know, kind of ignoring that. Good, so it's winter and we're not losing wood. That's beautiful. That means we're gonna go ahead and build a house here. We'll soon be have to start producing some more crowns, more gold, so we can keep up the buildings. Now, I need to grab one of these guys and tell them to uh, work on this, because they're not gonna go on their own to the next area. Not yet. This guy is searching more here. There's a smoke screen here? I know what's going on there, but... No. There's something is going on there. Okay, we're losing some food right now. Because this guy's not getting food. Okay, I get it, I get it. That's fine. It's okay. Very soon we'll be able to... Oh shit, we're under attack. Hey, you guys, help. Help. Our warrior is not gonna be able to do it on his own. Hey, run. By the wolf. Okay, beautiful. He's very injured. He's the only one injured. That's good. That's actually good. He's the only one wounded. Um, have we? What just happened? Have we? Yeah, we have seen this place. Good. Circle of stone. And of course, there's some wolves. People are reaching our fame as well. Our score. Indeed. Um. Also, we have now the one wolf here. There's extra wolves here. We'll need more people for that. Oh, right. We can uh, go into this. Um, I think we'll go with sharp axes. Just to get more wood. Boom. Do that. Okay, now I know where they got the 15 from. Bastards. They got the lure much faster than I did. What is your secret? I don't know. Uh, after the winter is gonna be done, I am gonna assign more warriors. I will have to, because my current warrior is very badly damaged. <laughs> he is kind of wrecked. Okay, you're gonna scout this out. There might be some people here. Oh, there's the giants. Okay, Jutner. They're here. Jutner, ancient creatures from the Dark Ages. Jutner are peaceful unit until you attack them. If you do, brace yourself. They do quite a lot of damage. If you could ally them, we could maybe use them to kill the Wyvern. Since they do have a lot of HP and quite some damage. Now our warrior only does 12 damage. While wolf does 7. Never corner a hungry wolf. I never wanted to. Uh, here's our scout. Let's grab one of you and, you know. Hey boys and girls. Come here. Hey, everyone. Fight the wolf. You. Run. Run, run. Ah, he died. Right there. Ah, god damn it. Okay, we do have a warrior. 
There's the wood color. God damn it, this is so loud. Why is this so loud? Yo, go back there. Go back there, my friend. Go back there. You guys, gather your food. Go here. <laughs> Our clan has made it to the new year. I am I am very happy with that. Good job, clan. Okay. Um we have lost people. We've lost two people. See, that's not why you wanna have Oh, why is there Draugr here? Uh you have to kill this Draugr, boys and girls. Thank you. We need to do that before we Hey, come on, kill him. Kill him. He does have same health and does less damage, so you guys should not have any real issues with him. Good. Claim this land for us. Very nice. And we will start building here. We need fields. Very nice. Get the fields going. Uh, we'll need to clean this land very, very soon. I need you, sir, to start building this for me. Thank you. This has been built, right? Anyway, uh, my timer has sounded some time ago. So this is Nordgard. Uh, I am gonna play some more. I hope you guys like the game. I really do enjoy it. Um, I might not succeed and win the actual game. I might lose and do badly. We'll see how it actually goes. But for now, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should like subscribe and see more Do Your Magic. And I will see you next time. Coco out.